The Ebos are known as the greatest warriors in the world. You can see that my father, my uncle, my brothers, big guys, okay? You take anybody in my family, they'll beat the fucking shit out of the average white, the average Mexican, the average Asian trained in Kung Fu. It's the average person. Because my tribe is genetically superior when it comes to physical characteristics, including the mass of your brain. That's why we invented all arts and sciences. The Ebos and the Nubians are credited with Mantu arts. 3200 BCE, we were using Mantu arts to build the Ebo Uku Empire, and we traded them with the Nubians. That's why it's the Umu Eri clan, and you have clans in like fucking Ireland, and clans in fucking China, and Japan, because it comes from the clan idea of the Igbo people that predates them all. So the Mendi, the Mali Empire, the Empire, uh, the Ghana Empire, they were above. They assimilated those who the Igbos didn't. The Yoruba, the Ife, the Ero, all these, the Ibibo, all these, the Ija, is to carry were all assimilated in the Igbo Uku Empire. So, their tribes came later from Northeast Africa. Some say 600 BCE for the, the, the Yorubas and 600 AD for the Houses. And then the Fulanis came in the 1600s. I've heard different stories. I heard Fulani's been there for a while. But the the general picture is the Igbos had the mightiest empire in all of history and were known as the greatest warriors. The Ashanti were jealous. The Oromo, Tigra, Amhara were jealous. The Yoruba, the Hausa, the Fulani, they were jealous. The Igbos are the mightiest people historically, and their descendants have conquered the sports arena. Thank you.